A romantic getaway turns to disaster as a shark attacks a paddleboarding couple just off a luxury sandals resort in the Bahamas. The woman is knocked into the water where she fights for her survival, whilst her husband tries desperately to pull her out of the water. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. This is the terrifying shark attack on Lauren Van Wart. Welcome to Final Affliction. Lauren Van Wart was 44 years old. She worked in the math editorial team for Curriculum Associates, a Boston-based company that provides resources for teachers. In December 2023, she and her husband, Ernest, headed for a vacation in the Bahamas. Their destination was the Sandals Royal Bahamian Resort on Cable Beach in western New Providence, the most populated island. The hotel was a luxury five-star resort, exclusively for adults. Lauren and Ernest had been married for 13 years, and this was the perfect break for them. They had been looking forward to this incredible trip for some time now, and it had finally arrived. Set on the pristine white flowery beach, the Grand Hotel is surrounded by palm trees and glistening turquoise waters. It looks like paradise, but beneath the waves lies a hidden danger, one that everyone knows about, but most people ignore. Sharks. The Bahamas is known for its incredible shark activity. It is an international hub for it, drawing shark divers from all around the world to come and experience the biodiversity on offer. The waters are rich in marine life, sustaining everything from coral reefs, plankton and sea turtles, to whales, dolphins, manatees, and sharks. In fact, the Bahamas created the first shark sanctuary in the Atlantic Ocean in 2011, and more than 40 different species are known to swim through the area. The tourism that sharks bring in exceeds $100 million every year for the Bahamian economy. But swimming in such shark-rich waters also poses a serious risk. With winters setting in over Boston and temperatures regularly dipping below freezing, Lauren and Ernest had decided that some winter sun would be something to look forward to. Located just 150 miles off the coast of Florida, the Bahamas is a popular destination for sun-seeking Americans, especially during the winter months. It offers a tropical getaway without the need for a long-haul flight. Lauren was popular in her Lowell neighborhood. She and Ernest had lived there in the same house for over a decade. They knew many of the people in the area, and whenever Lauren was out walking their dog, she would always wave to her neighbors or greet them with her broad smile. Now, as the two of them arrived at the Sandals Resort, the excitement was building. They had a week of luxury to enjoy and were going to make the most of it. After breakfast on Monday, December 4th, 2023, Lauren and Ernest headed down to the hotel's beach. The sky was overcast, with the sun occasionally peeping out behind the clouds. The temperature was around 25 degrees Celsius, 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Kayaks, snorkeling gear, and paddle boards were available for guests to use, inclusive of their stay. Lauren and Ernest opted to take the paddle boards out that morning. They each grabbed one and a single long handled paddle and waded out into the pristine turquoise water. It was calm, barely a ripple on the surface. Carefully, they balanced themselves and stood up on their boards. The water lapped gently over the sides as they propelled themselves across the surface of the bay. They made their way away from the shore and the water turned darker blue. Below them, they could see the dark shadows of submerged rocks and corals and the sandy bottom in between. Looking back at the resort, they could see the other guests walking along the sand lying on the sunbeds or swimming in the warm waters. Lauren and Ernest headed further out and towards the end of the beach and heading behind the back of the hotel. With each pull on the paddle, they glided over the water effortlessly. They were now three quarters of a mile out and were just about to head back towards shore when the most terrifying thing happened. In the deep waters of the bay, they were very much in shark territory. Below them, a shark circled. It could see the outline of the boards above it on the water. The paddles that were dipped into the water every so often could easily be mistaken for a flipper of a seal, the shark's typical prey. 
It made a beeline for Lauren's board and torpedoed upwards through the water column. Just as it made impact, it opened its jaws wide and its eyes rolled back in its head. It smacked into Lauren's paddleboard and sent her crashing into the water. The board flipped over and Lauren's paddle flew from her hand. She didn't know what had happened at first, and when she came up for air, she immediately splashed around, pulling herself back to her board. But Ernest had seen the whole thing. He had seen an enormous shadow just below the surface a split second before Lauren was struck, and now it came back for more. Before Lauren could get out of the water, the shark came at her again. It opened its jaws and bit into her side. The force was immense as it crushed down around her. She screamed, and Ernest yelled for help. He was watching the attack on his wife unfold, and there was nothing he could do. He frantically paddled over to her. The water frothed and boiled all around Lauren as she desperately tried to stay afloat. The shark shook its head from side to side, and Lauren screamed as she was shaken violently in the jaws of the enormous predator. Back on the beach at the resort, other holidaymakers heard the screams and looked out over the water. They could see the two paddleboarders in distress and watched open-mouthed when they realized what was happening. A lifeguard leapt into action. He jumped into a rescue boat and fired up the engine. Then he powered towards the stranded couple, bouncing over the sea at full throttle. When he arrived, he could still see the shark just below the water's surface, the eerie shadow as it circled close by. It was enormous, longer than a boat. It was still interested in the couple and still posed a significant threat. The lifeguard needed to get them out of there as quickly as possible before the shark attacked again. He leaned over the side and pulled Lauren aboard. He then held out his hand and Ernest jumped into the boat. But Lauren was unresponsive. She had a catastrophic bite out of her right side and hip, and her right arm was severely mauled. The shark had bitten through muscle and blood vessels, and she had lost a staggering amount of blood in that moment. It had all happened so quickly. The shark had remained close by, possibly waiting for its prey to succumb to the deadly bite before continuing its attack. This is a common tactic they use to avoid being bitten themselves when preying on the likes of sea lions, but that initial bite had proved fatal for Lauren. Despite the best efforts of the lifeguard and Ernest, CPR could not bring Lauren back, and she succumbed to her injuries. An ambulance had already been called, and when they arrived back at the beach, Lauren was carried across the sand on a stretcher and taken to hospital. But it was too late. Tragically, she hadn't made it, and the terrifying attack sent shockwaves through those who witnessed it. Staff and holiday makers at the resort were traumatized by what they had witnessed, and the news of the horrific incident spread to her hometown, where neighbors were deeply saddened by the incident. While fatal shark attacks are extremely rare, with, on average, 10 occurring globally each year, Lauren was one of two women to have died from a shark attack within a single week. She was incredibly unlucky, and taking the paddleboard out an hour or two later likely would not have resulted in such a terrible and tragic loss of life. The species of shark responsible for Lauren's death was not identified. A shark diving guide published by Sandals Resorts advertises the opportunity to swim and dive with sharks in the surrounding waters. These are described largely as docile species, but it is also well known that some of the most feared sharks frequent the Bahamian waters. These include the likes of tiger sharks and bull sharks, both known for their aggression. The Bahamas Sanctuary, spanning more than 243,000 square miles, is known as the shark diving capital of the world. Although attacks are rare given the number of people who enter the water each year, when we do so, we are entering the territory where at any moment a shark can take you to your terrifying final affliction.